Hi, welcome to Trading with TK, teaching you to turn ideas into money. We're at www.tradingwithtk.com and it's uh, Thursday, October 23rd. I can never remember the date. Um, you know, as a trader, I'm sure you guys can agree and ladies can agree with me that like, one day melts into another. Sometimes you don't know if it's Thursday or Tuesday. <laughs> but, you know, I usually know when it's Friday. That's tomorrow. Okay, the markets uh, just continue to deteriorate. Uh, you know, we had a rally going on at one time during the day. They were up a hundred and something points, and out of nowhere, it just disappeared the rally. And then the next thing you know, we were down 200 points. So uh, uh, the rallies are just not to be trusted. You know, we tried the long side. We stuck our toe in the water on the long side, and jaws came up and bit our foot off. So, um, you know, I got stopped out on both of those, Dynergy and PNX. I thought that was the right thing to do. We took a haircut in both of them, but uh, it's no big deal. We'll, uh, we'll more than make that up. Um, the charts just continue to deteriorate. You know, the pattern that uh, three or four days ago looked hopeful that maybe it might turn into a bottomy formation has just taken on a, uh, just another ugly look again. And as a matter of fact, the Q's made, all, made a new low. So... Uh, the charts do not look good. Um, I don't know if it's going to be a fast break on the downside or a slow torture, but uh, we, we definitely look like we've rolled over again. And when I look at the individual charts, you know, the bank stocks don't look good at all. The banks are starting to roll right over again. They got a very, very negative look. I can't find one bank stock that, uh, that I would even think about buying. As a matter of fact, they all look like shorts to me. Uh, and a lot of other stocks that have rallied in the last four or five days when we've had this little sideways action in the market, all the stocks that have rallied are now starting to roll over again too. So the entire market just does not look good. We're just not at the bottom yet. So, um, you know, in the final segment, we'll take a look at all these indexes. Uh, they're, each day they deteriorate more and more, and uh, you'll, you'll see it. They're just they're not good looking. We'll get our little rallies, I guess, along the way, and I'll point out the resistance. But, you know, I'm no longer looking for that breakout that I thought was possible three or four days ago. Um, the, the, the pattern just looks too bearish to, to even think that that could possibly happen. I mean, anything can happen. If it happens, great. But uh, uh, the odds are against it, let me put it that way. Okay, got a new idea. It's on the short side. We've been in the stock before. We've sold it short. We've made money. It broke down, made a new low. It's run all the way back right up to resistance, and it's getting ready to roll over again. And the stock is H-U-N. So in just a moment, I'll show you the chart, and I'll show you how we're going to take this idea and turn it into some money. Then we'll also take a look at HGR, the stock I sold short this morning, and then we'll finish up with... Uh, um, as always, uh, looking at the major indexes. So uh, don't go away. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, we're looking at a daily bar chart of HUN. And uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure it looks familiar to you because I believe we got short in here and we caught this break right here. Then it rallied, and then it made another lower low. Then it rallied, came back down, rallied right back up to resistance. That's where it is right now. This whole pattern up here is all resistance. You can see how it got there, and now it's starting to roll over. It's putting in a, a uh, descending triangle. So this is a call on the short side. I'll be looking to sell the stock short. Uh, between um, 11.50, it's about where it closed. And, you know, this could be the kickback day we had today. There is a possibility it may want to push up into this pattern a little bit more. It may want to get as high as 12.50. I'm, I'm hard-pressed to see it happening, but it could. But it would be a great opportunity to, uh, to get the short off. So anywhere above last night's close, um, you'd, you'd, you'd be doing a good deal by getting a short off here. Uh, my target on the downside is seven dollars a share. It's the old low. Uh, my buy stop would be a close above. Let me move that out of the way. A close above that high, which is uh, thirteen dollars and fifty cents. 
So I've already showed you what uh, what I'm looking at. You know, we're in a big resistance area. The entire market's rolling over, and this is going to roll over right with it too. And that's our descending triangle. That was the first break. You can see how it broke down underneath this here. It rallied back up to it, broke down. Now it's rallying back up into this pattern. And as soon as that's over, it'll just continue on back down to our target. There's a chance it could even break this low, but, but for this trade, I would be happy uh, to take the short back in at around $7 a share. So let me recap that. That's H-U-N. It's a call on the short side. Uh, and uh, when it's all said and done, uh, we could probably make ourselves about $4.50 or maybe $5, depending on where we get the short off. Okay, let's move on to HGR. You can see how this is uh, tracing out. You know, it, it broke down early this morning. I didn't chase it. And it, it rallied back up. I thought it was going to get back up into here, but it didn't. And then it started to roll over again. So that's why I decided to put the short off. And then it got down as low as uh, 13.94 and tried to rally late in the day. But it's, it's a negative look. You know, even if it rallies back up into here, it's not going to stay there very long. Uh, this is our target down here, $10 a share. So we'll put that into the portfolio and, uh, you know, the way the market's going, it could be days or maybe no more than two weeks before we uh, ring the register in that one. All right, let's take a look at the uh, major indexes. I'll show you uh, the deterioration and uh, this is the Dow. Well, we managed to close up on the day, but, you know, we took out yesterday's low. Not good. And uh, this is our resistance area. We could, we could get up as high as this, but I don't expect a breakout. If we do... We'll regroup and we'll rethink, but I just don't think the odds uh, uh, the odds are not there for it to break out. Uh, transportation average, um, you know, not only did they break yesterday's low, but they broke this low, which was the test of this low, which we we all thought was uh, um, pretty constructive that it held, and we thought maybe uh, things could get going on the upside. But you can see today. Uh, even that got taken out. So that's why I say it, uh, the odds are not that great looking for a breakout on the upside. I think the, I think the uh, probabilities are, uh, or the uh, path of least resistance, so to speak, is, is still down. Russell 2000 um, took out yesterday's low and took out the test low and almost took out the old low and uh, probably is getting ready to. So lots of deterioration in the pattern, in the picture. Uh, I, it says that we haven't seen the lows yet. I don't know where they're going to be, but you know we're just not going to get in the way of them until, uh, until they show us. Uh, SPY, which is basically the standard Poor's 500, uh, took out yesterday's low and took out the test low also. Didn't close below there, but you know when they, when they break below them, uh, it's just not a good sign. And this is our major resistance right up in here. QQQQs, okay, you know, I said yesterday they were the weakest of the group, and today, uh, and I, I always tell you, you know, a double bottom is great, but the third time down is not, it's, they, they don't hold, you know, the third time down, look out, and uh, and this made a new low today, so that does not bode well for the market either. Uh, could they rally up into here? Sure they could, but uh, I think you got to be a seller on all the rallies, and I'm not really a buyer of the... Um, you know, I'm not a buyer of the dips at all. I'm more of a seller of the rallies because um, our hopes have been dashed by, um, I'm just glad we saw it in time you know, and uh, we were able to change our mind. Uh, but it's, it's not looking good here at all, the market. Just not looking good at all. Okay, so uh, that's my view of the market until tomorrow. Uh, this is TK signing off.